Hello everybody from a beautiful day in the Commonwealth. Today I'm looking at Isolation. It's a brand new mod by Greek Rage and it gives you a huge area to build. Um, there's really very little here so it's entirely up to you what you do with it. I'll show you where we are on the map. So we're right here. Luckily you can fast travel straight away. There's Spectacle Island and Atom Cat's Garage. Okay so once you get here We've got this lovely piece of flat land here right on the top plenty of scope for all kinds of fishing activities and look at that wow looks like you can walk all the way over to the mainland there you can certainly get to the castle from here and this is a big plot isn't it great there's also your very own lighthouse and he has started you off with some power and water as you can see down there there's the water generator oh by the way this uh, settlement does have a mile lurk popped up as soon as I went down there to try and hook up the water <laughs> he loves putting them in so if you carry on down these steps we get to a second level down here another great big area there's um, a guard post there are a few of those around beautiful big beach oh wow on a gorgeous day like today this is a really super place to be i'm excited about this i'm excited about what i can do here i'm you know never being a town planner it's not something i've ever aspired to do or be but I really love it when mod authors give you a nice flat area of land to work on. I won't take you all the way up to the top of the tower because we'll just get motion sickness either going up and or down. But there's power on the outside of it and a couple of guns so you can hook them up. Look at the size of this place. Oh my goodness, I'm going to eat up my settlement budget in like no time. I, I just know it. beautiful also down on the beach you'll find a shack and in that is your workshop and from what I've been able to tell I've had the workshop open as I've been running around and no issues at all with being able to build all over this place as you can see there's some food here too and no unnecessary spiky bits of grass or you know brambles and weeds and stuff that you always have to get rid of so there's the castle over there in the distance and we can get to that and there's like a little security booth here also has a couple of searchlights and there's power down here too bed for your security guard and a gate and so you can just literally just walk over there to the castle if you want to. Handy. And then the shack. Wow, it's getting super foggy. The shack with a workbench in it is down here. So you could turn this into anything your hearts desire, couldn't you? You could have it as a beach resort. I mean, you could just go mad with it. Fantastic. And the power there too. So, I'll show you the statistics as it is at the moment. Okay, we've got 50 food, 100 water, 400 power, 40 defense and one bed. So, yeah. I would love to know what you're going to do with this. If you download it, if you have already. And also, let me know if you have worked on it, what you did. Because, ah, like I say, there's a lot of space here. Could be absolutely fantastic. If I get time at the end, depending on, you know, life, <laughs> then I'll give you an update as to what I've been doing. Uh, but for now, I'll leave you with that very foggy view called at the end of this wee video and say thanks so much for watching and take care and stay safe, everybody. Okay, so very quickly, just to show you what I've done so far with this place, we're down at the beach. I'm sitting on one of these, like, mooring things. They are fab, aren't they? They're from a mod, I think it's called Beach Workshop. I'll leave you the link for it. You get all sorts of beachy things, like these chairs, 
these life preserver things. <laughs> in case anybody's in trouble, that's a lifeguard station. And uh, yeah, so I just thought, what would I like to see down at the beach? So why not have a bandstand? People can come down here, uh, listen to a band, have a picnic, soak up some rays, get a drink from the bar. <laughs> it's so cool. So that mod also adds some um, palm trees, three different types. And so the darker ones that you're seeing are from that. All the others, the more colorful bright green ones are from Mentha's more colorful com compilation, I think it's called. Uh, my live stream would be if these umbrellas were not tatty pre, you know, post-war, but were pre-war perfection, but never mind, this is what we have. So I thought a little boardwalk, some conveniences, some showers for folks. So, you know, when you get in back to land from the sea, you can have a shower, go to the loo, wash up in general. And it's a nice walk down the seafront. I'm very happy with this. I really am. Oh, that mod also adds this particular lifeguard station thingy. I haven't put anything in it yet. No chairs or anything. It's just an empty... But it's kind of like a it's like a hut type of thing i wasn't actually sure which way around to put it but this is what i decided on uh yeah and then going up the hill after a weary day at the beach you come home exhausted and here are the houses so i just put a few in i haven't i was i think i'll probably get rid of that it's pretty ugly and yeah, I haven't finished decorating these yet. Put in a bit more food over here. Hey, I found a lawnmower. Cool. I just, I don't know what it is. I love those things. They're just, I want one in real life that looks exactly like that. And then a pond. And actually, down here, just on this little spur, I put in a tiny pond there too. You can't really see it from here, but it kind of looks like rock pools. It reminds me of when I was a kid and we used to go and stay with my dad's family in Guernsey. And I used to be fascinated by all the little crabs and things that used to accumulate. I haven't done much anything at all really around the lighthouse. I'm a bit frightened that mer like mer there. Can't, can't speak that Maya lurks come back. It's been a few days actually since I've done a video, so it may not seem like it to you because I pre-filmed a few, but I am tripping over my tongue something terrible today. All right, so out of the housing district, if you fancy a snack, there's a cafe. And so donuts and coffee and all that stuff. This Slocum Joe's is really very cool. I love it. And then on a Sunday morning, Wow, my ferns are floating. I need to bring them back down to earth. On a Sunday morning, traipsing up the hill to church. And this is the first time I've built a church. I absolutely love this structure so much. It comes in all sorts of different colours. It's by the same guy, that Hoser, that did the um, Easy Home Builders. I'll leave you the link for this too. Sadly, there's no bell in the belfry. Shame. But... Uh, because there are no stained glass windows, I thought we'd have stained glass lights instead. And we've got these. These are Witcher cushions from the It's Furniture mod. Speaking of Witcher, oh my goodness, have you just seen the second series? Isn't it amazing? I am loving it. It's quite hard to follow. Uh, but yeah, I digress. So there's an organ that comes with this. Super cool. And there's your hymn books. And I thought it would be nice to put a pretty floral arrangement out the front. Very classical. And then the graveyard out the back, which hasn't, I mean, I haven't finished any of this yet. This is very much a work in progress. Ooh, that's my uh, mausoleum, by the way. That's where you'll find me when I pop off this mortal coil. There's my coffin. It's kind of spooky looking, which I really love. I tried to make it look a bit more, um, you know, dark and gothic type of thing. So I, I just need some mist. I need to find a way of adding some mist and bats flying out. Oh, my imagination, honestly. 
goes places sometimes. All right, that's it. That's what I've done so far. I will leave you with that colourful picture I call at the end of this wee video. Thank you, as always, for watching. Uh, please do let me know if you've downloaded it, what you've done with it, and uh, I will see you soon for the next. Take care and stay safe, everybody. Mm -hmm.